In this video, we will review how to format a presentation using Slide Masters. To apply Slide Master, click on the Insert tab, click the bottom part of the New Slide button, click Reuse Slides, locate the presentation that contains the slides that you would like to use, open it, click in the desired location in the current presentation, and then click on the slide that you wish to use and you can see that we have inserted slide 1 from the demo 1 presentation and it did pick up the slide master in the current presentation. You can also do this by copying and pasting slides from another presentation. And again notice that it did pick up the current slide master. If you click Paste Options, you have the option to force it to keep the original formatting. To add new layouts, go to the View tab and then open Slide Master View. When this opens, you will see the master at the very top. And if you make edits to this, they will show up on all of these different layouts. If you wish to just customize certain layouts, then you need to click on the layout beneath the master. To insert a layout, select an appropriate location, click on Insert Layout. It will insert it below where you selected. It's given the name Custom Layout by default, so you'll probably want to right click on it and then click Rename Layout. click Rename, and then insert the appropriate placeholders for your custom layout. To modify an existing layout, find the layout and notice if you hover over the different layouts it gives you the name of that layout. Click on the layout and then make your customizations as necessary. And for this example we will just insert a clip art image. And then we can just resize it and place it or drag it to the appropriate location. When you finish, you can close Slide Master View. To add a background image, return to Slide Master View if necessary. Decide which background you want to modify. Do you want to modify the master or do you want to just modify one particular layout? Choose the layout or the master and then click the dialog box launcher button on the background group. This will open the format background task pane. For this particular background we will use a file from a flash drive and this is just an image that we saved out of Microsoft Clipart. Click the image and then click insert. And you can see that it does change the background on this one particular layout. If you want this background on all of the layouts and the master, click on apply to all. When you finish, close the format background task pane. To control page numbers, scroll back up to the master. Notice where the page numbers or the slide number is located. You can see for the slides, it's in the bottom right hand corner. If you want to reposition that, you can. Now let's look at it in Notes Page View. 
and you can see that the page number is in the bottom right corner. If we wanted to move that, we could. We will leave it there for now. So let's go back to Slide Master View. Once you have your placeholders where you want them, then you can go to the Insert tab and click on Slide Number in the text group. For the slide, you can display the number if you'd like, and you can see it's very tiny in the bottom right corner here. For your notes and handouts, you can display the page number. And again, that's going to show up in the bottom right corner because we didn't move it in Master View. And then once you do that, you can excuse me, you can click apply to all and the slide number and the page number will show up on your slides and your notes pages views. To insert a header or footer, return to the insert tab and then click on header and footer in the text group. Again, you're going to get this same dialog box, but this time for your slide, you can insert a custom header if desired excuse me, a custom footer. And then if you click on Notes and Handouts, you can add a custom header. Up here, it's going to show up in the top left corner. And you can also add a custom footer, which will show up in the bottom left corner. And then once you finish with those, you can click on Apply to All. And then lastly, to modify presentation themes, let's return to Slide Master View. And on your Slide Master tab, you've got the Edit Theme group. You can click the drop down arrow, and then you can see all of the available themes. And if you hover over those, it shows you what the name of those are. And I'm just going to click this one and you can see that it modified pretty much just the colors because I stuck with the same type of theme. And then once you finish, you can close Slide Master View. And then we need to return to Normal View. And this concludes the review for formatting a presentation using Slide Masters.